Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do before I get started installing this is to get this collar on. And I see a light on the camera's on. I don't know. Now, these this collar will come with self-tapping screws. So, let's... Then I'm going to put my glasses on to do that. Helps. You do you want to make sure you're centered up? I already see the top of that is just a little warp, not bad. That may be from manufacturing or from the heat. <laughs> Maybe in place. Sixty-three bucks for a twelve-inch section. Sixty-three bucks. Twenty-four-inch section was sixty, but they were sold out. Go figure.
Okay, let me show you real quick what I did. Um, I was hoping to film this whole thing for you, but I have misplaced the iPhone that I use to film with. And no, it does not have a SIM card in it. I just used it for the camera purposes, and I cannot find it. So, does this stuff happen to anybody else? I mean, literally, between here and the pickup, someplace the iPhone. I looked all in cabin, all truck. So, anyway, this is the top section. I've had to do things kind of backwards to get everything to fit. These insulated um, pieces are very brand specific. This is a super vent. This is super vent. You're not going to get, or I couldn't get, um, non super vent pieces to fit something like, um, oh, what's that other one? Uh, metal fab or whatever. Um, in fact, most of these regular soap pop pieces will not fit the super vent at all. Uh, what I had to do is get the adapter, uh, I don't know what they call that, it's about a foot long, it's, that section here is supposed to go up in things, but as it worked out, it went over the elbow, so we're using that, and that will go up into the super vent. Metal fab, from what I've seen, uh, obviously after I bought all this, the black pipe pieces will fit in the metal fab pieces without expensive $40 adapters like that so anyway um, since this part is sticking up you can buy uh, double collars like this they're about this big I have two flanges crimp flanges and that would have worked but this works too uh, so I just turned this around this is a one foot section I've got here I've screwed screwing everything together. This piece wouldn't is supposed to go on the outside of the pipe. It's supposed to go on the outside of here. But since I turned it around, I took the uh, you can see how they have it kind of crimped together right there. I just broke those crimps, except for the last one, and and uh, put it on, on the inside of the pipe. <clears throat> gotta do what you gotta do. And that goes in there. If I can do it with one hand. Yeah, something like that. You get the point. So that'll be five feet straight up. Uh, I have five, I think, in the house. So it's about 10 to 12 feet. Uh, it should be enough. Okay. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to fill this gap here. As you can see, I kind of overcut the uh, fiber cement quite a bit. Um, when I marked this out on the fiber cement, I thought, hey, I need a little bit bigger to make sure it goes through. Well, I kind of overdid it. That's okay. I have some fire um, foam block. Some, I don't really think it's needed around there because, like I said, I've got, uh, well, like I said, I don't know if I've showed you before, but. I took a uh, digital thermometer reading on the outside of that when, when this was all like 200 degrees, it was like 85 degrees. So I don't think it's needed. Um, yeah, the other ones are around 250, 300, and this is what that, 433. 170 uh, and 42 and you can see that insulated is and you can see where the snow is melting off the roof dripping down and the winds wind out of the west which is blowing it into blowing it back in here a little bit but i'm worried i haven't sealed that up yet so but yeah i've got some smoke in the cabin Kind of give you some temperatures there. And this is smoking, burning off. Apparently, like I said, the last couple of fires I have had in it hadn't been this hot. This is, I've got this and cranked up. And what, some of the smoke maybe come from opening, uh -oh, opening the door and stuff like that. So, uh, 
we'll add some more wood get this kind of burn off open the doors because it looks like it's drawing very well so anyway just thought i'd show you all that show you the temperatures i'm getting now initially i was worried about this clearance right in here which is about well it's a little closer where that's hollow now but once i get the ceiling it'll be about 16 inches so 37 there 80 79 so i don't see this as an issue even right there above right can you see right there i don't know if you can see that or not right there above it is 75 76 73 i'm trying to read through the you find so i'm not real concerned about that now looks like there's enough clearance there but anyway just thought i'd show you all that. i know someone's going oh my gosh you're so far too close to the ceiling man you're gonna you're gonna burn the world down man now it's gonna get harder than any 80 76 and like i said once i get the ceiling up we can go from there but i have it so i'm going to use it i'm going to try to get this thing kind of centered up into the opening before i use the foam uh now between this black fiber cement and the outside there's nothing uh from about i cut the insulation right here so i'm going to take the paper facing off the insulation i should have put a two before block across the um studs there i didn't but i'm just going to shove some unfaced insulation up in there to for something for the foam to f expand against so let me get this uh let me get my foam spray out and i'll once i get the foam spray it's expanded and cured if i have to cut any off i will then i'm gonna come back with some black caulk not fire caulk stuff like 16 bucks a tube i just found some black caulk so again i think that's about all that's needed so that doesn't get that hot so anyway let me get on with it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You got another text. Oops. Didn't really want to come out like that, but oh well. I don't know if you can see, but it's done a pretty good job expanding to the outside. I have a little bit left. Let's see if I can get some more in the outside here. That's why I don't think it's going to be needed out here. But just because I do have some left. 
again you don't want to get this on anything you don't want it on because it will stick that includes yourself no it's too small i think yeah i can't get it in there it's expanding very well this they say expands like 200 percent so uh, i'm gonna let this sit for maybe an hour or two hours then i'll come back and i'm gonna cock tease that black cock around here Okay, it's been about three hours. <laughs> when they say expands 200%, they mean it expands 200%. It well, kind of looks like a little fat person there, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to let this cure a little longer. I'm going to go outside and, and we're supposed to, you know, get some winter weather next two nights, two days, whatever. And I'm going to go outside and seal that. And eventually I'll cut all this off, caulk it, paint it, be done with it. Okay, this is what I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. It's picked it up at the local farm and ranch. You sealed that. So, uh, silicone. It says it's good up to 450 degrees. Now, if I read the fine print on the back, it said uh, good for continuous up to 400 degrees. So, that doesn't get 400 degrees. If it does, we have problems. So. Okay, as you can see, it's been, well, it's been a couple of days. You can't see that it's been a couple of days. But it's been a couple of days since I sprayed it, and you can see it really expanded out. Uh, you can see my pipe's also still leaking. And what it's doing is dripping off the roof, hitting the black pipe, and coming in that connection of the um, insulated pipe. So it's on my to-do list to fix that. So, oh, no, I got something that fell down here. Oh, luckily, that's just... I don't know how easy this is going to be to pull off. Obviously, I don't want a big orange blob. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, isn't that pretty? Now I have to get up here. I'm going to trim, I'll trim all this off. I ain't going to leave, obviously leave all that crap right there. we go first fire inside with a new and it looks like she's drawing good I figured it was up being that high total length probably 12 feet something 10 to 10 to 12 feet total and I'm still not don't have it hundred percent like I want it but at least now I can get have a fire inside Buddy, let's look. Closing that door even when the vents open really chokes it down. I imagine once it gets really hot though, it's it'll be it'll be good, give it a good bed of cold. But ha ah, man, it's been a long time coming. Again, uh fiber cement board. Gotta check the clearance to there. I'll probably put a piece of fiber cement. I'm not this ain't gonna be a big fire right now. It's literally like 75 outside. I just wanted something to go in here to check my work. So anyway, I'm sorry it wasn't a better video. Still have not found that iPhone I've been looking for. It's got to be, uh, I don't know. Have you ever laid crap down and just can't find it? So anyway, that's the install. Hopefully I'll find that iPhone because it has other footage on it.